I am a little bit excited. <laughs> yeah. What? what? We're sad. We are very sad. I don't think there's anyone else as sad as us. What's that? What's that? This is a very old receipt. Sure, look, show it to the camera then. They want to see it. And what's it for? It's for <laughs> Cathedral Axminster. Carpet. Carpet. My, my grandma, bless her, she's had this receipt. What's the date on the receipt? 27th of September 1979. <laughs> so she's kept this receipt for almost 50 years, but the carpet has finally gave up, hadn't it? Bless yeah. Her. She was ever so proud, and she used to it get was it. the best carpet, She used to get it? this receipt out on special occasions and show everybody how much she'd paid for a carpet. I, think it was <laughs> I don't the, know what she kept it for for so long. I think when I first met you, I think it was one of the first things that your brother said about was the, the best carpet. carpet. Yeah, <laughs> the my best grandma's carpet. best carpet yeah. that she's had for nearly 50 years. Well, the time has come, and that carpet is no longer, is it? But no. we managed to salvage a bit, we didn't we? A bit we rescued a bit. Under the sideboard. Under, under the sideboard, so... We uh, we thought we'd repurpose it because we like we like old things, don't we're we? We're a bit quirky we, that way. We do order lots of stuff <laughs> off Amazon, but we do like old things. And I say quirky, I realise that because when you get down to do the carpet, I realise I've got sliders and odd socks and colourful things. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Emma's Emma's attire today. Good old socks and sandals. The socks don't even match. A nice uh, nice flowery leggings. Yeah. <laughs> Is, uh, I actually think about that. She's a bit special, isn't she? Anyway, they ain't come to see your attire. No, they no, come to see God. my grandma's rug. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Should we show them? So yeah. we've seen the carpet, obviously, but we had it. What do they call it? They they whipped, whipped the edges. Yeah, whipped it. So we haven't actually, we haven't actually unwrapped I'm not it so from excited. the from the whipped edges. So do you want to do the honours, Anna? I'll I'll. Uh, I'll. Oh, film. Have we got anything to open with? No. Uh, uh, We're not very well prepared, are we? No. Hang on. Go on, then. I'm just thinking what I've got the sharp coming in your tongue. Uh, You've got a pen. That'll do. I mean, there's a standing... There's actually a standing knife somewhere. Check out that bad boy! Look at the pattern on that. That is epic. <laughs> they don't make them like that anymore, do they? No, they eh? don't. Oh, I let's love it. Uh, let's get down. So we managed to save two two, two bits, bits, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got like a runner. A runner that's going to go in front of the sofa. Yeah. Um, that's and that that's bit. The runner. We're not putting it down yet in front of the sofa though, are we? It's, it's still winter it's and muddy. the type of all muddy, so that'll wait little, for the summer. We did a little trial run and uh, Sophie laid out. She <laughs> loved it. She, she loved like, it. Also. This is so nice. I'll stick the picture up. Yeah, um, but yeah, the, 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 the bit will go down in the bedroom. Um, cause it's, oh, it's a bit, look. It's a bit cleaner down here. We ain't got all the dogs passing through with the muddy paws all, all day. Stick it down. Let's see what it looks like. Not quite sure whether it goes with the orange paint in the bedroom. Do I care? Do I shite? Oh, I like that. That's pretty funny. You've got some it? sticky things, haven't you? Yeah, to stick the corner down, stop it sliding around everywhere. There we are then. Yeah, I think it might be better to go this way because of Sophie's bed going there. Oh, uh, yeah, Sophie's And it means when I get out of bed in the morning, I can put my feet put on, on some carpet. carpet. Simple things, eh? We've just been on an online calculator. So that's what it costs, if you can see that there. Where is it? Can't read it backwards on the camera. Three hundred and three hundred forty-eight pound ninety-seven. Back in nineteen seventy-five, and we went on an online calculator, and it's the equivalent of two and a half thousand pounds today for a bit of living room carpet. That's it's why she's kept. Carpet, that's why she's know. kept the receipt. It's godly from, from the cooperative, don't you know? I know, Cameron <laughs> Cooperative. It's nuts, that is. Yeah, absolutely crazy. That's wicked. If anyone's got an old receipt. Than like 50 years old almost, let us know. <laughs> and what's it for? That's <laughs> mental. We, uh, we should frame the receipt, really, shouldn't we? Well, I think the grandma wants to keep hold yeah, of it. Yeah, she can keep it. We'll get I it thought we'd take a picture of it, then I'll get the picture printed and then yeah. we can put it on our picture ward. So it's the <laughs> oldest thing. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's still not like, the oldest thing on the boat that's been on the boat. It's older than Katie's, you. I know, Katie's grandma came on oh, yeah, she was 95. That's it, oldest thing so on the boat. So this is the second oldest thing on the boat, apart from the boat itself. The boat itself, yeah. <laughs> And I'm now the third. <laughs> and you're not going to make the fourth because I'm going to end up chucking you in the canal. It's <laughs> not very nice, is it, folks? Keep taking the mick out my age. I didn't say a thing. You you said you were the third oldest, not me. Anyway, let's go and put the, uh, the runner down in front of the sofa see what it looks yeah. like. Goodbye. I'm going to see your butt. Ta-da. 
Oh, look at that bad boy. Hello, Canadian geese. I haven't got any food for you, I'm sorry. What do you reckon to the new carpet, Sophie, eh? <laughs> Where are you? Here. Old. Do you see your fluffy ear pieces? No, because the lens is there. <laughs> there. You're a bit special, aren't you? We're out here to look at your boo-boo. Well, yeah, so, yeah. I didn't want to show them, but you reckon I've got to show them. I do. So you the know that coming now, paint so work be quick. Fixed next week, last week. Well, you didn't. You didn't actually fix it. I don't know whether the camera picks it up. We'll have to see on the on the laptop. But yeah, it looked all right, and then each day that's gone by, it's got <laughs> sort of worse again. So I think. Why is that, Anthony? Well, I t I, a famous Anthony style. I've done the research afterwards. So I went out last week, didn't I? Yeah. And I bought some polish. But yeah. it wasn't actually polish. No. It was compound. And I've since done some research and you meant to use compound first and then polish after. So I don't know, either just needs shut up you. Yeah, if I get up close. <laughs> you can see all the, the white stuff. It might just need a wash to get all the white you stuff off. It needs a wash. Or it might still need another go over with a polish. So yeah, I'll get some compound and some polish. We've had some recommendations now, anyway, some polish. Thanks, Fiona. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited first. And don't first, use a hard sponge. Yeah, a hard sponge, oh. not a scour. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's another job for this week. This is why nothing ever gets done. Oh, it's nice in the sunshine. There's always something that pops it's cold up in, in the shade. Oh. Always something to fix or mend. This is why I never get any jobs done on Emma's list because there's always something else that pops up. So the chainsaw, and we've got an audience now. Now off the table, you know the rules. Um, the chainsaw's decided to give up the ghost. Um, so where the chain goes around the sprocket, I lost a, a nut and a washer, and instead of replacing them, I carried on using it, and then it's knackered the sprocket now. Let me show you. So this is the sprocket that the chain sits around, and there was. A nut and a washer on there but I ended up losing them um it's not a normal nut otherwise I'd have just it's not a normal bolt sorry I should have just replaced it it's a uh, it's a left-handed thread so I haven't got anything to replace it with um I used it once without it <laughs> and it was enough to bugger the bugger the sprocket so I've been online bought myself some spare bits so I'm just gonna strip it down and see if I can figure out how to fix it I've got a Got an audience while I work. So if you want you licking the towel for? I got the towel on. Keep the table clean. Not got my gloves on though, so I'll probably get told off later. Oh well. Get rid of some of this crap on here. So I can see the screws I've got to undo. I think they're little Torx screws. Yeah. Right then, this one the right bit. One last screw holding it. I don't know what people used to do before the internet. Right. Where would you get these bits from before the internet? No idea. So yeah, I went online and found a found a parts diagram and got the bits I needed. But yeah, I don't know how I'd do that if I didn't have Google. Alright, let's see if it pops off now. That feels better. Ta-da, oh, look at all that crud in there. That needs a good clean out before it goes back together, doesn't it? This is why I put the towel on the table. I'm fine, I'm be in trouble. I know I shouldn't say this, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty forward, pretty straightforward fix. But now I've said that, 
You watch this sprocket be annoying there to get off. I can't see anything on the new one that like, holds it in place, I'm presuming it's just going to lift off. <laughs> but no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, bloody hell's that on there then? Hmm. May need to go consult my friend Google. Looks like it could be held on with this spring contraption that goes around the edge, look. So we'll get that lifted out. Hopefully it don't ping off somewhere. We'll see what happens. We're off. We went too bad actually. Um, but yeah, as with most spring things, it's normally easy to get it off and it's to put it back on. That was well and truly knackered and, and worn out. Look at the grooves that it had put in there, even on the bits that haven't broken compared to the new one. This is just a completely flat cog. So, yeah. To be fair, I think it's probably coming up for four years old. And the only thing I've ever changed on it is the chain, so it's not done too bad. Let's get this cleaned up behind here and then see how it goes back together. Should be fun. I love my little wet and dry vac, not only is it a vac, if you change the port from one side to the other, it's a blower as well, so hopefully you can get rid of all the last bits of remaining crap on there. Days. That looks a bit cleaner in there now. Put it back together. Jobs are good. Huh? Looks like somebody needs to crack the hoover out later. Oh dear. Covered the table and caught all that mess. But yeah. Didn't spot that till just. Good job I haven't hoovered today, eh? You can't be there, puppy. Now I've got the chainsaw all fixed again. I can get this wood processed and have our cratch back. I'm hoping that's the last bit of wood we've got to process this year, or if not the last, the penultimate at least. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're getting getting into spring now, so the fires haven't got to be on a, as much. So, let's get this wood chopped up, and fingers crossed, we've got a bit of warmer weather on the way. Oh, it's nice in the warm. Oh, that's nice, I like that. What's nice in the warm? The sunshine on my legs. Yeah. We got a crutch back. Sunshine, lollipops, everywhere. <laughs> She's off again, folks. See what I have to live with. I'm meant to be the annoying one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We got our cratch back. Wee! So yeah, chainsaw fixed, wood chopped, and now it's looking a bit more, yeah, a bit more civilized in there and less like a shed, isn't it? I was gonna say a bit less shed like. Yeah. I know. I, I enjoy fixing things though, but it just means it just means nothing ever gets done off the list because there's always something else that pops yeah. up like you know fix the chainsaw was never on my job list but no. i don't know i enjoy it it's like my happy place isn't it, it is. emma's happy place is in, in the, the kitchen, kitchen. <laughs> and mine is fixing things yeah. and saving money yeah <laughs> so i don't know how many people would have just chucked the chainsaw away because it weren't working like, oh a lot of people yeah and it cost i think it cost 12 pounds something in, in yeah, bits you've got to have the, the you got to have the aptitude to do it you mm. can't just i couldn't pick up a chainsaw and fix it i'll be like 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Same reason I can't cook your sausage rolls, I suppose. Yeah, but you can't do this typey typey. <laughs> I can't do your typey typey. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think uh, that's it for this week, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Nice clean crutch. Yeah. No wood. What? Just a bike. That's what we're missing? Dusty. Anna? What we're missing? <sighs> should we have? Should we have a joke just for a change? You're nothing if not predictable. <laughs> I Do you think, think you can make me laugh? Go on. We'll, have, we'll have one. We'll have one related to my grandma's rug, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I just made a laugh, ain't I? Told her the joke. Yeah. Is it clean? Sure, <laughs> dirty mind, That is. What pet is the laziest pet? Carpet just lies on the floor all day. Oh God. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> just in case you're wondering, Emma doesn't like vet these jokes. She doesn't hear them beforehand. This is her actual Some reaction. Are... Some of them she laughs at. I mean, at your maroon one ones. was very funny. You liked last week, didn't you? Your carpet is a bit... Carpet. Do you get it? Yeah, I got it, carpet. but... Yeah. Try anyway, it. on that note... Let's try harder. <laughs> see you next week, folks. See you later. Bye. Bye. Fucking pleb. Carpet.